Hope you're doing good. Micah back with another video. Back here to talk about app updates that the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus has received in the month of April. This is technically like version 2 of this video for this month because Samsung has turned around and updated a lot of their apps as well as a new Google Play system update. So, if you guys are interested, if you guys haven't already, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, the notification bell. It's all free. That way, some videos so you and I can sit back check see who's cracking. Now, let's get into the video. The first thing we're going to talk about is that Google Play system update. So, what we're going to do is swipe over, go to gallery, and click on it here. This Google Play system update is 70 megabytes in size. This update will achieve the April Google Play system update. And to confirm that, if we go on over here to settings, I said settings, and you jump over here to security and privacy and click on updates. As you see right there, Google Play system is now at April 1st, 2024. And to make sure security is up to date, let's go ahead and tap on, tap on that real quick. And as you guys can see, they have not sent out the May update yet. So Google Play system is updated from what I have been told and i actually wrote some of this down here if i go into samsung notes and i click on this here are two details specific to the google play system update if you have a google phone app you'll be able to connect with your contacts immediately after you set up your new phone and google has also improved account management for wear os a supervised user will be able to use a new dashboard to view parental control settings and so maybe a Play Services update has been issued to Wear OS devices. Be on the lookout for that. But that is the Google Play System update that has arrived on the Galaxy S24+. Plus. What's next? We've had some updates in the Galaxy Store. And I have those screenshots because, of course, I always update on the spot. But if we kind of scroll down a little bit. So the Galaxy Store itself has received updates. The following Features are added to the upgraded devices when you want 6.1, home screen, access finder, home screen app icon setting, folder, app folder background color, folder, app folder background blur adjustment, folder, folder icon arrangement. And as you see, it says unsupported functions in the S24 device group will be provided through the One UI Home app update. And so what this pretty much did was it it updated Home Up to some degree. And so to showcase that, if we go on over here to Good Lock, Good Lock itself received the updates and you was able to experience that here with the recent updates. Home Up, if you come into Home Up, and you click on home screen home screen now has the finder access and you're able to use that in the app screen and or home screen and so i just use app screen and then it looks like these were updated and or renamed and app icon setting was renamed from app icon label to app icon setting and this allows you to turn off app icon labels for your apps now to showcase the finder if i swipe up to go into my app drawer if i swipe down i now access finder and you can actually make that accessible on the home screen as well if you swipe down instead of notification panel or maybe there's a divide as to where you swipe down instead of swiping down to reach your notification slide by swiping down you can access finder on your home screen similar to an iphone those are just a few first of the few updates from the Galaxy Store. If I pull up an article here in the internet browser here and look at Good Lock, let's see this article from Android Police update the Samsung theme park app brings speed improvements and ability to edit themes, making customization more seamless. Newly installed apps will automatically match current theme appearances, saving time for users customizing their phone's look. And more exciting changes in the update make theme park more versatile and enjoyable despite some removed features. So keep that in mind when I, uh, on and be on the lookout for Good luck to receive more of those updates for theme park. I feel like that may have been already addressed because, as I said, Good Lock itself received an update. And so upon swiping that one away, if we actually come back into Good Lock Clock Face, I believe I may have already talked about that. So if I back out again, Clock Face was also updated. So if you want to do more customization for your personal clocks, 
you know, you have more options here. And of course, you press the plus icon there at the top and you can make adjustments down here via your My Clock or Studio. So that was updated as well. It's nice to see Samsung continuing to take care of good lock in these features because we really need it. We definitely know that the vertical app drawer might be showing up in One UI 7 later this year. Good lock used to have that via, I think it was Home Up where you could access the vertical app drawer, but it was a wonky version of the vertical app drawer. And now in One UI 7, it's sounding like we may see that. So let's definitely stay on the lookout for that. Swiping back out of the Good Lock module app, let's look at the apps that came through the Galaxy Store. And we're gonna go back to our screenshots for that. And here are some screenshots right here. Voice recorder has bug fixes. Samsung Internet Browser now provides uh, a show menu bar while scrolling and fix bugs and improve stability. The Samsung Keyboard receives some updates as well as an interpreter. Because the Samsung Keyboard app was also included in updates recently, I think this also has something to do with the AI features such as like the personalized chat assistant that you can get with Samsung's keyboard and it's smart detection smart reply system in general i think that was probably addressed and interpreter of course is its translation kind of app that received updates as well i thought there was another update but i believe that is pretty much all there we go quick share connectivity was also updated share to devices nearby select okay come on select devices found nearby to share files quickly and early without or easily without using mobile data. Share using QR code, and that means you can create a QR code to share files by scanning the QR code and its nearby device. You can also copy the URL and share it with anyone. Share to contacts, and then that means to share files with anyone in your contacts by selecting the recipient. So it's definitely becoming more and more robust, and we know quick share is something that even Google now adopts with their devices, and that's, again, thanks to Samsung. Really, really, staying true to quick share and optimizing it and continually improving it. And then the other app that was updated, as I meant, oh, I didn't mention Lockstar was updated. And this supports devices upgraded to 1UI 6.1 and edit OA, uh, AOD function and AOD manual brightness option has now been added. So you're always on display, now has more customization in Lockstar. And that is it for updates as of April 2024 for the Galaxy S24 Plus and Samsung Galaxy devices in general. Be on the lookout for your updates. Just a quick look in the Play Store. There's always updates in here, especially when it comes to Google Apps, Google Messages. Right now I have 10 apps pending. If I hit that, hit all of that, you see Cash App, Google Maps, Google Me, Google Play Games, Instagram Messenger, or Pizza Hut, T Life, T Mobile Tuesdays, YouTube Studio, just to name a few. And these updates are recurring, so definitely stay on the up and up when it comes to your phone and your apps staying secure and up to date. So let me know down in the comment section below if you guys keep your, uh, your apps updated with something you're looking forward to in the future comment section is open for discussion but again as always if you guys haven't already make sure to like the like button subscribe to the channel make sure to the bell it's all free that way it's my video so you and i can sit back and see what's cracking it's your man mike and sign out until the next video wait for it.